Um, I just wanted to show everyone uh, who is still having any problems with creating a desk in SketchUp uh, how I would do it. So I'll start off by creating the top of the table, which is 152 centimeters by um, 75.5 centimeters. The table is two centimeters tall, so I'm going to push pull it up two centimeters. And um, then I'm going to deal with the bottom part of the table. Uh, that's the metallic part that the legs um, join onto. So I'm going to flip the table over so that I can draw directly on the bottom. Now the metallic part, if you look and measure, you'll notice that um, the table is about two centimeters on every side bigger than the metal part. So what I'm going to do is draw, draw some guidelines for myself on the bottom. So I'm just going to click here and go down. I'll push escape and I want that line to be two centimeters. And I want to do that on every side. So you'll notice I'm drawing the lines exactly two centimeters or 20 millimeters. Okay, so these guiding lines are now going to help me to draw the metallic part. What I'm going to do is draw it as a rectangle on the bottom and then push pull it into the third dimension. So you'll see I'm just clicking on each point from the two centimeter guideline pulling it along either the red, the red or green axis until it touches the side. And then you'll notice we'll have some extra lines and we're just going to get rid of them afterwards. So it touches there and here. Oops, I'm going to do that one again because it went pink. I want it to stay green. Green means it's on the right axis. Okay. Now if I go to Tools and Eraser, I can erase all these extra lines that I don't need. Now that I've erased all the lines, I'm going to zoom out, rotate it a bit so that I can pull down the metallic bit, which is six centimeters. And now if I rotate it, you can see it's starting to look a lot more like your desk. There's the top of the desk and the bottom metallic part. I'll flip it back over and let's do the legs. This um, is actually much easier than the way I did the legs in the chair video. I'm going to use the uh, square or the rectangle tool and I'll pull it out on the first leg of my desk, desk which is 3.2 centimeters by 3.2 centimeters. Now I could be wrong on that measurement, but that's what I'm just recalling from memory. You need to look on your blueprints to figure out for sure. I'll do another one here. 3.2 centimeters by 3.2 centimeters. If you forget centimeters, it won't work, so make sure you write your units in. Let's do this corner now. 3.2 by oh, centimeters by 3.2 centimeters. And the last corner is here. 3.2 centimeters by 3.2 centimeters. And now all I need to do is, I'm going to, again, I'll zoom out a bit. Let's pan over so you can see more of it. Zoom out and orbit. I'm going to pull down this leg, and it is 66 centimeters long. And I just need to do that to every single leg. 66 centimeters. The next one. 66 centimeters and the final leg 66 centimeters. Now if I rotate around you can see my perfectly built school desk. At this point if I'd like to uh, you are or if you'd like to you're more than welcome to use the paint tool to paint it so that it looks as much like the desk as possible.